I'm Robert with Nomium, and we're taking a look at Prezi Video. Prezi Video is software that allows you to have icons and text floating next to you on your video screen. This video is going to look at what does Prezi Video look like as an end result, how we can make a Prezi Video from templates to text to images to importing PowerPoint files, and finally, we'll take a look at two other features that come with a Prezi account, Prezi presentation software that we could convert into a video, and also Prezi design for document creation. But first, let's take a look at Prezi video in action, as well as why we might want to use this. So you see this icon on my screen, and I've planned different icons and different texts to show up throughout this video. Now I can use images only, I can use text only, I can use images and text, and I also have the ability to use images from the image bank that comes with the Prezi account, and I also have the ability to upload PowerPoint slides that I've previously created. In addition to moving forward, we can move backwards, and in addition to moving one by one, we could go back to the very beginning or jump anywhere we want on the screen. Another great thing about Prezi Video is that I can become the only thing on the screen if I would like a bigger range of movement or I'm simply not using my slides anymore. And I can make those images and icons become the only thing that you see on your screen. Prezi Video is useful in teleconferencing because when I share my screen, whether it's a PowerPoint or an Excel file, my video thumbnail is going to become small. If I want to keep a connection with my audience and my participants, keeping myself on a full screen with floating images and text may keep their attention more and keep more of that human element in our virtual sessions. Now that we've seen what Prezi video looks like to an end user, let's take a look at making a Prezi video. Here we are at the Prezi video desktop app. You can create and control your videos from your Prezi account through Google Chrome. But if you've paid for a Prezi account, you do have access to the desktop app, and I like to use that as my default. As you can see, we have a few options. We can create a new video, which we are about to do. We can import a PowerPoint from this screen, but we can also import our PowerPoint when we're creating a new video. We can import from the Prezi Next presentation software, which we'll take a brief look at towards the end of this video. You can also go to My Videos in your Prezi account. You can choose a saved Prezi video file on your desktop, or if there's a Prezi video that you've recently opened, you can see it in this menu. To keep things simple and basic, let's go to Create a New Video. Here we are at the introduction screen when we create a new video. Before we start creating videos, let's take a look at the options on the screen. At the far left, you'll see each icon or slide. So if you want to jump to slide number three, you can jump to slide number three anytime. And if you want to jump back to slide number one, we can do that as well. At the bottom left, we have the option whether we're creating a video we're recording a video or we're doing a live teleconference, we have these options to be the only thing on the screen and we can take the icons away, we can put the icons back, or we can make the icons the only part of the screen. And on the far right side, we have the arrow keys which manually flip through each of those icons. We can go forward, we can go backwards, and again, if we make these icons the only thing we see on the screen, we can flip through them the exact same way. At the bottom of the screen, you'll notice we are on the templates menu, and we'll look at that in just a moment. Once we are happy with the template, we can go to the create content feature. And then once we're happy with our content and all of our slides, our text and our images, we can start a live video conference if we're connected to Zoom or another platform, or we can record a video that we can save to the cloud, or we can save that to our computer and upload it or edit it as we wish. Since we are in templates, notice that these default images 
are not something that I uploaded. They're just there to help us see which template might work best. You'll notice that some templates have borders at the bottom and they will filter through differently. If you don't like things moving over your face, this template may not be the one that you'd like to use. Here's a template and we'll go backwards this time. And then if we go forwards, it drops down. So whatever templates we decide to use, know that we can change those anytime. So I'm going to go to this very first basic template that you saw in the introduction demonstration. And later, if I choose a different template, it keeps my images and it keeps my text and I don't have to add those again. So now that we're happy with this template, we will go to create and we'll recreate the five slides that you saw in the introduction demonstration. First, we may just want to add an image and I've got the same image and that's where it will appear on the screen. Now, we cannot move these images around unless we choose a different template that puts it in a different position. The only way to move that around would be to go into the Prezi Next presentation software, create a Prezi presentation, not a Prezi video. With the Prezi presentation, we can then export that to Prezi video. It's an advanced feature. It's worth looking into. It's worth practicing and understanding. But for this video, we're going to keep things basic. Next, I want to add a new slide. So I'll go to my thumbnails. I'll add a new slide. There's nothing there yet. But as I type, there is. If I would like to choose text and image, I can type. I can upload my image and it puts them there together. Another option we have is using the image bank. I don't have to type image bank, but since I did in the original video, we'll type image bank and then I'm going to search for images and icons. You see there's some by default on the screen, but if I would like to search for a dog, I find some cartoon dogs, I find some images of dogs, and here is the one that I chose for my introduction video. Finally, we can upload a PowerPoint slide or an entire PowerPoint slide deck, and we can choose which slides we want to take out of that deck. I have a single slide ready to go. It takes just a moment. It's converting it, and I promise it will appear. Here we go. So this is where if I had 20 slides, I could choose which ones I want. I could import the selected ones, or I could choose to import them all. And it will make a Prezi slide on for each slide that you upload. So now we have all five images that we used in our introduction demonstration. And again, we can flip through them to make sure they are aligned as we want. We could choose to go back to templates. We could choose a new template that filters through differently. And once we're ready, we can start a video conference, we can record. But the great thing is, is that I can save this video and I can go into this video and I can edit it anytime I want. So if there's something I did with one audience or group and I wanted to change it, I can go in and reformat it, change the templates, change the images and change the text as much as I'd like. Finally, let's take a look at the Prezi account through Google Chrome. And I mentioned Google Chrome because Prezi video works best through Google Chrome. Just like the desktop app, through Google Chrome, we can create a new video, we can do video conferencing, and we can import PowerPoint or create advanced Prezi presentations. When we have a Prezi account, 
it does more than just the Prezi video. It also allows us to go to Prezi designs and Prezi presentations. Since we're talking about presentations, let's go to presentations first. You'll notice that we can create a Prezi next presentation from a template or from scratch, or we can convert a PowerPoint. Now we're not going to dive into that during this video because this video is about Prezi video, but we can take a quick look at what an advanced presentation looks like. Now, I have done very little alteration to this presentation, but I just want to give an example of what the Prezi presentations do. We would want to format our objects and our images and our text in advance, and we want to format that for video. So if I wanted to be in the center of the screen, I may choose to have circles on the sides at the top or at the bottom or other images or logos. As we filter through a Prezi presentation, it does move differently than the Prezi video. It zooms in, it zooms out, it zooms in to different objects, and we have full control when we are building this to which objects go first, second, third, and where those objects are positioned on the screen. We can then export this as a Prezi video and finally, let's take a look at Prezi Designs. This is where we can create different documents or images that we might use in a Prezi video or a Prezi presentation, or we may just want to create a report, a PDF, or a social media post. We're not going to go into using the software in the video, but it is good to know what comes with a paid Prezi account. If we start from a template, we might choose this infographic, and it's custom built for this template, but then we can customize it as much as we want. Like any document design program, we can change the text, we can change the font, we can move objects around, we can add our own images or Prezi's built-in images. So anything can be changed. If I'd like to add an image or a graphic, it lets me choose to upload my own or I can choose icons, elements, video covers, stickers that move. Let's just search through here for dog to take a look at some of the things Prezi offers us. We have icons of dogs. We have images of dogs. We have moving stickers that you could upload as a video. We have video covers and GIFs. So I'll just insert this lovely picture of this dog. And we may want to put that somewhere on our infographic. That is the Prezi video overview, as well as a brief look at Prezi Next presentations and Prezi design. We hope this has been helpful. And if you have any questions, we would love to hear from you.